We're doing raccoon purge, guys. Getting them nice and soft here. Two people in the chat. Sorry if you guys can't really hear me that well. I turned on low. I'm working on my raccoon that I caught in the video you guys saw. OH Outdoors, what's up, man? I'm kind of mad that I kept this raccoon now because he's like half the size of my other ones. I mean, he wasn't no small raccoon. Here, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. Let me just take off my gloves because last thing I want is to get this shit all over my Chromebook. Let's use it here. What tanning presses are you going to use? Well, I got to see... What I've done here, I'll show you guys my raccoons right now. So basically, these are my other ones. I'll just hold them up here. Give me one second. I just needed to find the ones, but I don't really want to touch it with my bare hands because I don't want this shit getting all of my Chromebook. All right, here, I'll show you guys. So far, what I've got here. I mean, this is one big ass raccoon. Big boar. I mean, he's gigantic. He's big. He's like as big as me. That's one of my raccoons here. I'll go put him over. I'll put him up here. Alright, now I'll get my other one. Here's my other one. Another big ass one. I basically am using salt so far. And then for the red fox here, got my red fox. Oh my god, it is so pretty. So soft. I'm so glad how it came out. There's the ears. I'll show you the inside of this one. I mean, she's almost done. I mean, this one's almost done. It was a male, my bad. I mean, look at the tail. The tail got cut off. Here's the other, here's the part of its tail. So it should be like this, but it came off because I was trying to get the bone out. Well, that's all right. As you can see, I mean, it's fully cleaned. This thing is beautiful. I even sprayed it with um, house cleaning stuff. So it doesn't smell. It's got its arms and everything. I mean, this thing is beautiful. I'll give you guys a better look at it right now. Hey there, how's it going? It's going good. Shop of Random, you're back. Here's the fox right there, guys. This is my um, first. Looks great, buddy. Thank you, man. I'm working on my other raccoon I got. There's my other ones over there. And then I got this one right here. That I am working on here. Here he is. I'll show you guys him right now. He's really heavy because I got to get off the fat still. The other ones are really light, even though they're way bigger than this one. I'm working on right now. You guys are going to be watching the process of me. I just cut off some fat with my hunting knife here. I'm actually going to wipe it off. WV Woods Man, what country are you from? Probably West Virginia. That's what it kind of sounds like. Something like that. Good job, man. Looks like you've been having some luck. Keep going, dude. Actually, I have not been having that much luck. I mean, these first, these days I did when I met my grandparents, I did. But I think I've been over trapping it. And now I haven't been catching very much. I mean, the last time I caught something was like a long ass time ago, probably like two weeks ago. Well, when I was here. 
At my, at my house, so I caught one, what, three, four days ago? I got to get this tail cleaned. Jesus. I just air dry them. Get an old comb. Yeah, it's dirt because when I caught this thing, it was like downpouring rain. And then you just kind of work at all the hair. And what I do is go back and forth like this. Get wherever everywhere it's wet. Go back and forth like this. Go against it with its hair. If you do that, then you'll work out all of its um all the bugs and whatever's in there. I don't think this one has any bugs really. I haven't seen any yet. I mean this one's just beautiful. Oh my god, it's soft. Um country not county not country, Bob. Here. This is the first. So you kind of just want to go back and forth like this. Work all the spots. I'm going to turn it on high here. If you guys are ever interested in any of these animals you see, just let me know. Let me know if you guys like any of these animals. Me and my grandpa are going to go get salt soon, so there should be a process here. Hold on here, guys. Five people in the chat. Let's go. Just working on the tail now. Here, I'm gonna put it up so I can see your guys' comments. You all that crap I'm collecting? Make sure you know you're doing it right. This thing's got like a hunk of shit at the end of it. I gotta get it cleaned off here. I'll get it clean here for you guys. It's working out good. What you gotta do is just move it up, work on this tail. Once we get done with this tail, then what we gotta do is I gotta go to the store 
get some salt. Once, because I can't really do anything because I don't have a flusher. I don't have a flusher yet, so I can't really, I can't do it that way, the real way. So I just use salt. When I'm done with the salt, then what I'm going to do is, um, I don't know if I want to put it over a fire. And, and what you do is you put it over the fire and get it smoked. And then you got to rehydrate it or whatever. You can also use egg yolk. Which that's actually what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use egg yolk for my um, my other raccoons over there. I'm going to try it on the raccoons. If it works good, I'll do it on the fox because I really don't want to mess up on that fox anymore. Hoping I get another one soon. Is it okay? I will ask you what are you going to do with that? Well, I was thinking about, because I don't really, I really, I like these, but we're starting to run out of room here, so I was actually going to, in my next video, I was going to, I was offering these, you guys will see that video today, I'm going to be offering to sell these, or do a giveaway when I get to 200. And these would be one of the options. So you can either buy them or shout out to you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. What's up? What's up, Ray? Just working on some raccoons here. If you haven't already, guys, go to interesting Ray Warrior Seven, guys. Go check out his channel. Looks like you're getting close to that 200 mark. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Damn, this track too looks beautiful. I am 15, but I'm turning 16 in March, so. You're basically right. Once you're done with that, because I have finished. Finally. Pull out here. It's a mess because I started scrapping it. Got it more than a mess. Kind of trying to clean it up in here a little bit. But basically, what you want to do, I've got it on the DIY, so I put two tables together. Basically, just do that. Throw that box up there. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to kind of do it. I'm going to kind of do it the salt way. Here's the my other tool. 
mean, it's not that much. This one's bigger than that one, I guess. I guess I'm not that. I'm not that mad. Here, um, where's my knife? There it is. What day in March? Mine's the eighth. Mine's the second. Just kind of trimming away access parts. Hold on here, guys. I'll be right back. Here's my other raccoon. This is the giant one. This is the one I basically have finished. I mean, it's already, you guys can see I flushed it. And the way I flushed it was with a knife, so I mean, it was way harder than you guys think. I mean, that took me a long time. Here. Basically, I got the raccoon all laid out now. Take some Lysol. This is to kill all the animal, the little bugs and crap all over you, if you have any. And also cut down the smell. Granted, these ones kind of smell. Basically, just do that. Cap it off. My gloves now smell like that shit. So it looks like I won't be using these for trapping no more. Put my knife there. This is the knife I use for um, when I'm going to be uh, tanning these out. Not tanning, but I made a really sharp. I found this thing actually in a creek. Surprisingly. Damn, it is sharp too. Shee That is sharp. It's a mother. I'm just trying to cut off access parts here. This one's long here. Just like that. Eat it. Throw it out in the lawn. The dog will probably eat it. Anyway, those are the two knives I use. I use a comb. This comb is junk now. Gotta get another one. And yeah, I'll show you guys what I've done so far. Throwing these back in my bucket. Then I gotta go wash my hands because I end up touching all the doorknobs in the house. Can't let that be happening here. So now I got my three raccoons there. Got my fox. Going back into the house. And T's in here, huh? What's up, man? Just worked on my uh my third raccoon pelt. Just finished that up. Let's get it. Damn, it is cold and snowing. To give you guys what I'm dealing with out here. I mean, look at this. Sheesh. My baits aren't holding that well out here. Because what I'm using is fully ran out this time. I am totally out now. Out of urines and everything. Just got back from checking the line after three inches of rain last night. Holy shit. Did you get anything? Oh, I gotta wash my hands. I mean, hey Bryce. Yeah, you gonna go get salt? Yeah, I need you. What? Because I gotta get water, pop, and salt. So I'm gonna need you to help me carry stuff. All right. Can we also get like breadcrumbs or whatever we're using to season the we raccoon? Have... What? We got breadcrumbs here. Do we? Maybe we do. What time are you thinking about leaving? Right now. Right now? All right. All night long? Yeah. Shit. Dang it. 
Hear that, guys? All empty. Had to pull everything. Going to be 12 degrees. Yeah, I need to pull mine pod because it's like it's snowing like a son of a. I gotta go, guys. I'll be back on in like an hour because I gotta go pull traps and I gotta go to the store. What the heck? Oh, it's like what the hell. Take care. See you guys. I'll be be back on. Be sure to check out the raccoon catch and cook. I'm going to be doing that later today. It is going to be nasty, but we're going to do it. All right, see you guys.